Hello my friends, I'm Clover, this is Genuinely Approachable Sudoku, and today we're solving And Now for Something, which I assume is short for And Now for Something Completely Different by Philip Newman. And the sum and something is a pun on region sum lines, which is the variant we're solving today. So we have standard Sudoku rules, so replacing the digits 1 through 9 once each in each row, each column, and each outlined 3x3 region. And in addition to that, we have some region sum lines in the grid. So region sum lines are these blue lines that pass through multiple regions in the grid. So for instance, this line goes in this region, and in this region, and in this region. And within each of those regions, the sum of the digits on the line has to be the same. And you don't necessarily know right away what that sum is, but in this case, on this line, we do know it because there is a region where the line only enters a single cell, and that single cell contains an 8, which tells us the sum of these three digits are, is 8, and then the sum of these two digits is also 8. And that means the sum of these five digits is 16. So that makes them 1, 2, 3, 4, and 6. Now, the 6 can't be part of a three-digit sum that totals to 8, so we can eliminate that. To make 8 out of these numbers, it has to be 1, 3, and 4, and then these will have to be 2 and 6. These are going to be 5, 7, and 9. I can eliminate 5 here because there's a 5 sitting right there. And in fact, I'm going to observe that this sum of 3 digits has to equal this. And I can't use a 2 on this line, so if I try to make this as low as possible, 1 and 3, according to the 3 down there, that makes this cell as high as possible by making it a 9, so I'm going to leave that there. Now, 7 plus something is equal to this cell. Okay, 7 plus 2 is 9. That's not going to work, so it's going to have to be 7 plus 1, which equals 8. I can't put a 9 on this line because whatever goes right here is going to get summed to this. So whatever this is is definitely going to be bigger than 5 and possibly bigger than 7. So it's 6, 7, 8, or 9. And now I have a 6, 7, and 8 looking at that cell, so that is in fact a 9. Because this is 5 or 7, that cell will have to contain 2 or 4. There's already a 2 in the region. So that's a 4, and that is a 5. And now I have a 7, 9 pair on the outskirts of this row. Now what am I going to do here? So this digit, whatever it is, is the sum of three cells here. So the only numbers that can be the sum of three distinct cells in Sudoku are 6, 7, 8, and 9. Now this can't be a 9 because there's a 9 in this region. It also can't be a 7 because 7 has to be 1, 2, and 4. And we've already used up the 4 in this region. So it's either 6, which would be 2, 1, and 3, or 8, which would be 2 plus 6. Now how do we make 6 without a 2? 1 plus 5. So the 8 would be 2, 1, and 5. And you'll notice that's also impossible because there's a 5 in the region already. So this must be a 6. These are going to be 6, 7, and 9. And then there's a 9 in that row already. So that makes this a 9 and places our 7. And of course, we can fill in, just with pencil marks, our last couple of digits here. These guys are going to be 4, 8, and 9. These will be 5 and 7, and these will be 2 and 8. Okay, let's start working down here. So we can't fill this out quite as easily as we were able to fill out this line. There's probably a mathematical way to do it. I'm not going to work too hard on it right now. I'm going to focus on the other stuff that I think I can figure out first. So this is a sum of three digits, and the three digits include a four, so the minimum is four, one, two, which sums to seven, so this has to be a minimum of seven. Now how are we going to make seven? That would be one and two. To make eight, we would need one and three, and to make a nine, we would need two and three. So either way, these digits are a combination of ones, twos, and threes. This has to be six or seven. It could be eight or nine, except that it sees both of those already. And it can't be 7 because 7 is always 1, 2, 4. So it's 6, which is 1, 2, 3. That's going to crack this pair. And now if we look at this line, this is a classic arrow Sudoku trick being repurposed in this region sum line Sudoku. The absolute smallest these two numbers could possibly be is 4 and 5, which sums to the absolute biggest sum they can possibly have, which is 9. So that we, we know that that is correct. Now we can place a 6 here to finish off this column, because the column is nearly done. These need to be 6, 7, and 8, and then the 7 in region 1 places a 7 there. And this can no longer be a 7. 
These cells by Sudoku are going to contain 3 and 8. These are going to be 2, 4, and 5. Now there's not any way we can make an 8 out of 2 numbers out of 2, 4, 5, so this must be a, no, this must be a 6, which is going to be 2 plus 4, and place a 5 up here. Now this 6 can't be 2 plus 4, because that would keep us from putting anything into, or no, that's actually not a 6 sum even, I have to do something different there. I was just looking at that backwards, I'm glad I caught that. So this 6 has to be summed with 1, 2, or 3. That's what we're going to do here. It can't be a 3, because if it was a 3, we'd be placing a 9 on the end of the row. So that's a 1 or 2, that's a 7 or 8. There's already an 8 in the region, so that's going to be my 7. And that will resolve. This can no longer be a 1. Now where to? The last thing that we can really work with here is this 9. So this pair of digits sums to 9. It can't have a 4 in it and it can't have an 8 in it, so that leaves two ways to make 9, either 3 and 6 or 2 and 7. And we can make some eliminations here. This can't be 3, this can't be 6. And I think we're actually going to need to do something here. So either way, what I'm noticing is that this total will have a 3 in it, because it'll either be 9 equals 2, 3, and 4, or 8 equals 1, 3, and 4. So we know one of these cells is a 3, so we can eliminate the 3, 6 option down here. But that gives us a 2, 7 pair, which means we can't use a 2 up here. So that's now 3 and 1, which sums to 8. There's probably a cleaner way to see that, but that's the one I'm going to go with. This 8 I placed gives me a 2 and an 8. Now, how do we make a sum of 9 without using a 2 or a 4? Well, the three smallest remaining digits, 1 plus 3 plus 5, sum to 9. So that's going to be 1, 3, and 5. And the last digit in the row has to be a 6, which makes that a 7. Now, a sum of 7 without a 2 or a 1 will be 3 plus 4. And then to finish off this column, we need 5 and 8. And to finish off this region, we need 5, 8, and 9. There's already a 5 and 9 in column 8, so that'll go right there. And I'm going to place a 9 right here. Now my last two digits in this row are 4, whoop, 7 and 4. This is now a 3 and an 8. This is going to be a 2 and a 9. 5 and 7, because I have a 7 in column 5 now. I have a 4 in column 6. I have a 5 in column 5, so this now has to be a 3, which resolves this 3, 4. These two digits are the last two in the column, so those will be 2 and 6, which go like this. And the last digit in this row will be a 5, which resolves my 1s, 5s, and 3s beautifully. That's now a 4 to finish the column. And now here I need a 9 in this region and a 3 right here. That'll now be a 4 and a 3. To finish the row, I need to place a 2, which resolves this 2, 7 pair. And finally, last move, I need to place the last two digits, 5 and 7. And that is how you solve Philip Newman's And Now for Something. Hope you guys enjoyed that one. The link to solve it yourself is in the description below this video. And I will see you again three days from now.